Saturday evening in Northeast Ohio, the very last day of September 2017. And we have a 76% moon up there. It's about probably a little bit after 6 p.m. And as usual in the uh, daylight sky, the uh, moon doesn't come in very well. It's just too bright out. So, no, we just want to get a little documentation. It is so cool, though, getting the moon during the day. So you can see it against the trees and buildings and what have you. So I hope to be back later, and if not, I'll say goodnight to you now. Well, a bit early Saturday night, uh, because the uh, sky's too light out right now for any planets or stars, but I just wanted to start this video so I could get the uh, moon and the tree together. Whoa! Cool plane. <laughs> the shadow you see on the left is the uh, willow tree branches. Uh, the shadows from them, but makes it look spooky. Halloween. <laughs> um, so I just want to get that real quick before any stars pop up. All right, here we are in the uh, southwest sky. We have Saturn dipping down. <laughs> so we have a 76% moon and a Saturn. It's still all I can see in the sky. It's, uh, I guess, still too light out. Uh, no, I'll take that back. There's a few stars popping up. And we shall see if we can zero in on any of them. And hopefully I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty. And our usual suspect over here in the uh, western sky. We have Arcturus going down. It kind of reminds me of a blob from a lava lamp or something. <laughs> but, okay, we have a star and a planet and we need to get the moon yet. We just have some earlier footage. So, I'll be right back. Alrighty. I'm not sure. I think this is Vega. I'll have to check when we go in, but it's, uh, it's way up high from the moon, about the moon's one o'clock position. I got some still pictures, and there's a lot of stars around there. And there's a, another bright one that's right above this one. And the one still picture remi reminded me of uh, some pictures I get of Saturn that have the, uh, the moon Titan next to it. So that's quite cool. And something different. I'm going to see if I can get the other one. I'll be right back. If not, good night. <laughs> Alrighty, whoever this is, one that uh, seemed to be directly above Vega. We went over to manual mode and manual focus to see if it would come in better. And so whoever you are, good night. <laughs> Alrighty, and finally we have the uh, nighttime moon. We have several in the uh, daylight hours, so. Oh, apparently yesterday. What was that? It's got to be the tree branch. Alrighty, so I won't get distracted. I had to move us. <laughs> the tree branch looked like a big wing flat by. Anyway, um. So just yesterday, on Friday, they've discovered an asteroid that's about to whiz by the Earth on Monday. Um, it's about 20 to 50 foot in diameter, approximately. You know, they're just guessing. 
and uh, it's going to be real close, about 0 0.2 lunar distances, so it's about, oh, say, 50 to 54,000 miles away. So it's going to be a close flyby. There's been quite a few of them that have been in between the uh, moon and the Earth. I think there's been five within the last um, couple weeks. So a lot of debris out there. Anyway, it's quite nippy, so I don't want to stay out too long. Um, I think it was 53 when I came out, but that was quite a while ago. So I'm sure it just dropped more. I have like two shirts on, two sweaters on, and I had to put winter socks on because my feet were freezing. <laughs> and there's this uh, frost alert warning for tonight, so it'll probably get down to 30s. Not looking forward to that. Okay, so just a real quick close-up. And then we'll shut her down. Just want to see if there's anything that gets captured. It's so cool when it does. Makes things fun. Love unusual. Boy, this bottom edge got peppered. Wow. Alrighty, that should give us a good view. Um... So listen guys, I hope you have a wonderful night and a great Sunday ahead. Enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.